we will start our lecture. The lecture is about back, background saturation. And background saturation is uh, simple but uh, important. Let's, try to, let's mainly try to separate the background and foreground. So for the foreground, okay, first of all, you try to separate for the detection. Detection, you try to detect an object. Suppose you try to detect a people, try to detect a car. So you can directly detect the car, detect the people, detect a cat, detect the object you need. But for the, the other way is uh, we can try to separate or try to extract or also detect the foreground from the background. So you can separate foreground and background. And then, and then based on a foreground object, and try to, you can try to classify or try to identify what kind of foreground object. So background, so background subtraction is a two, two kind of classes. Uh, is a two, two um, classified by two. Okay. So in the other world, because it's a kind of a, um, foreground background uh, separation, so. When you process the background subtraction, you should be very fast. Um, yeah, I'm quite a, I'm quite a bad tool, tool. So, so background subtraction should not be complicated. It should be simple way and very fast. And I'll show you some background subtraction example. First of all, I'll show you that this is the result um, about a lecture. See the people here, and we can we can detect the motion here. There's more motion extraction. The important thing is that the leaves are moving. But the result doesn't affect it by the motion lifts. The Su Yan Yan Su Yan 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 Mario This is the other one. Background subtraction. See, there is some leaves moving, but the result doesn't affect it by the leaves. That's important. It's not easy, but well, I'll teach you how to do that. So you can detect the person. So this actually this project is uh, uh, the sense of me. Uh, we we do the. We do the DAPA project, and I'm I'm doing the uh, vehicle identification and people identification, and University of Maryland they did try to do the motion object detection. This is this is very very how to say we are doing the DAPA project. That 
那时候是在军军中是，他是要摆设那个一样，就为了为了那个，我们那时候是做那个地上的机器人的那些东西，啊，最后最后结果有一批人是做飞行的，不知道我们这个 group 就最后飞行的赢了嘛，就是那无人无人飞行器，这是在一九九九五年的时候，九五到九八那时候做的，然后这个这个实际上做这个很厉害哦。什么样很厉害？他们是希美军那时候我们做是希望，是就都无人了、啊。那时候是无人攻击嘛，就是你只要把东西架架着，那只要看到有摸寻的东西，他准备把它摧毁掉，因为那边是敌人嘛，人不用过去，只要东西架着，它就自自动自动把它把它杀杀掉这样子。OK， 类似 under the range。So it is heavy, heavy rains, but we 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 don't want to affect it by the rains. But right now the new new camera actually, if the rain is not so heavy, and after you see a camera, you cannot see the rains. 新的摄影机实际上是看，你会发现下雨几乎都被忽略掉了，那多少都会去清除。这是也，因为我这里不能。So that's a background background subtraction. The main thing I will teach you today lecture.、Uh, what's the application? What's the application for background subtraction? Subtraction. This is what we did. 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 学一些学长，要做这个都缺你的东西。好，然后车牌辨识，那时候得到全国车牌辨识第一名。大概 ，the precaution is here。Motion，you can do motion detection。This is from the in this embedded system. So the motion detection is there.、Uh, we embed it to the IP IP cam. This is just chain to the system. No, no PC. This chain to the system. Right. In time, chain to the system. Stolen 就是你有东西放这边被偷走的，就会发出警告。这些是图书馆，不该放的物体一一会侦测到，怎么有那种额外物体放这边，但是认为是爆裂物这样子。这这演算法都很简单，不能太复杂，因为要做前端的。那现在，现在台我们，我们现在台成大做智慧校园，要做这个，我这十年前就做完了。另外一批人要要做智慧校园的这个东西，这这学长碰到你倒了吧？那我我们学校目前才要做那个智慧校园，那这是我我以前跟美国 TI 合作。它它可以，它可以辨识车子跟车，然后这夜视系统，目前实验室，就那那栋新大楼之前，下面都是实验室，被偷走，这夜视的系统，这是不进去了就不能不能进来，你进来它会发出警报的。是有有人跑进来就是侦测的，这这 people counting， OK， 这是基本的 best best 可能 background situation， 我们再去继续看一下，那 what's the application for background situation？ what's the application？ 慢慢看比较比较。
amazing. So after um, basic background saturation, and the new method we call graph cut. So matting results on difficult natural images are also shown. Pairs. So it's more complicated. Father and child. Girl. For complex structured objects such as a spider web, Bayesian matting must use a very accurate trimap. In Poisson matting, our trimap is very simple. The extracted spider web and two image composites using the extracted mat are shown. Kandan 所以我現在是教你一步一步 background saturation, graph cut, in painting 那 in painting 再來的就是 Introducing a technique for modeling 3D man made objects by extracting them from a single photograph. Our method in three strokes defining the three dimensions of the object, two strokes define the parts profile, and the third one extracting them from a single photograph. Our method intelligently combines the cognitive ability of humans with the computational accuracy of the machine. We first demonstrate the use of three sweep on basic shapes to extract an object from a given photo. The user uses three strokes defining the three dimensions of the object. Two strokes define the parts profile, and the third one sweeps it along its main axis. This procedure progressively defines a 3D body that snaps to the shape outline in the photo. Before manipulating the object, the background is completed using the patch match algorithm. After modeling, we map the texture from the image and edit the parametric model to achieve image editing. Before manipulating the object, the background is completed using the patch match algorithm. We change its rotary switch to cruciform and rotate it. Then we duplicate the tap and rotate it and attach it to a different side of the wall. This example shows modeling a telescope. So this is While modeling each part, geosemantic relations such as parallelism, concentric, and orthogonality are automatically recovered. Background subtraction, uh, graph cut in painting are computer vision. But this one is not only computer vision, also computer graphics. After modeling, we can easily edit the image part as it was in the with its two arms duplicated to a perpendicular position. We skip some rotating interactions here. We also enlarge the middle holder. 
In this example, a street lamp is being offered. Then we copy the lamps to a lower position along the pillar and rotate by 90 degrees. The new modeled object is then copied to several positions along the street. In this example, a menorah from an oblique view is modeled. We copy and this example shows how we model a Hanoi tower image. The other includes the entire obelisk. One image is a close-up view of the base of the obelisk and contains more details. The other includes the entire obelisk, but the base is somewhat occluded. We can use the base model from the close-up image. Transport. This is not. In this example, in of a full 3D scene with dozens of models that we copied and edited from images. So I, what I try to teach you today is about loss of loss technology. Back, back to here. So loss work up uh, relative to the background situation we will teach you today. So what's the important, uh, what's the technology I will teach you first of all? I will teach you is uh, modeling. Modeling and two kind, only two kind of modeling. One we call parametric modeling. The other is non-parametric modeling. Just two two kind of modeling. Sanshu hua gen fei, Sanshu hua. Two modeling. Okay. And it's all related to the GMM. And GMM is a more complicated complicated GM is web based. So if you, if you want to learn WebEx, you should learn the Gaussian model, Gaussian mixture model and WebEx, okay? And then what's different from AI and machine? We update, and sorry, model our background. How do we update the parameters? Even though we learn, learn different, a deep, deep learning. Deep learning is a model. Why? Because you have parameters. Deep learning is a model. What kind of model? Parametrics model. Because they have a W, they have a W and B. So it's a parametric model. non parametric model is uh, without any parameters. And we need to learn how to update our model. And for the AI, one one most important one we call MAP, maxima, maxima posterior. This means posterior probability equal to likelihood times prior probability. Divide this divided divided by actually some constants. Some sometimes people ignore this one, and then there will be proportion, just that's But many people. It could not a prior probability. Many people, many, they think about, they just tell you likelihood. And they misunderstand likelihood to be the posterior probability. And door paper, Jebutura paper, Doba likelihood probability, Dang Chang Si posterior probability. Now你们都不知道，有有些老师也不知道，事实上还是缺缺乏一个prior but actually, prior property is very important. Why? I do one example. One example. Suppose this classroom, we have a door, right? We have a door, and then people come in. So if the purpose is try to detect or count the person, how many person come in, come in the classroom? So you do the, the people detection. 
So after the people detection, we got a result. And the result is, a, if I ask you, that kind of result is likely good for posterior probability. Actually, that kind of, most of the, the result is likely good probability. Detection tracking, detection tracking recognition is a likely good probability. No, actually, it's a posterior probability. So what's the prior probability? Prior, prior is prior probability. Okay, so prior probability in this case is that if you, if your camera, first of all, if the position of camera, you take a, take a, the video sequence from the, the door. So from the image, if the image, right, for example, do this way. So this is a, the view of the camera. Suppose door here. Right. Give a door here. So you, you do the, this is the entire photo. Okay. And you dictate this one. So people will go through this or pass through this one. So that's the dynamic probability. So what's the prior probability? Prior probability is how, how do you define? So if I define, I collect the data, suppose, I collect 24 hours, and I see many people pass through here. So people is around, around this, this one. They, if you pass here and come here, so most of people are here. Okay. So if it, there's no people here, because this ground, so no people here. So you count, suppose, suppose you count the, the, the appear position of the head. I mean, if you saw any tall sushi and the way it's hard, if I can double the tall sushi and the way it's hard, so this is the way it's hard. 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 So you count 24 hours, and you count the number of the, of the, the head, head position, and entire image, you do normalization, the soft max, you do normalization. So suppose you count, suppose 10,000 10, times, so this one, you want to, you want to, and you normalize the position. So you have a max, uh, the, the higher probability is here, zero probability here. So that's the prior, prior probability. Mean,假设你这样算了二十小时，然后你出现人的次数，那出现一十万、一万次好了，一万次，所以一次就基于这一万次，那去count，所以你发现大部分人出现几率在这，所以基于这里，那整整张图的几率图的，的entire image，I mean the 有prior if at night, night, you see there you detect this one, you see a face here. You can appear in the sky, you can appear in the sky. So here you detect a person. This is right. He is a very similar so prior prior probability is very important. So it so actually what's the prior probability is a weighting. Actually it's a weighting. It's a weighting of likelihood probability. It's a weighting of, of likelihood probability. So sometimes Sometimes, even though your prior probability, the, the probability here is zero, sometimes we give him the very low value, but not zero. 
就你有时候这张图里面，在这个这个区域，你不要给他连，因为连就没有机会了。所以你会给他一个很低的值，还是给他一个几率值，避免说误判。但是 prior probability prior probability can reduce your false alarm， can reduce false alarm 就误判。So prior probability is important. They are related to the something related to the position. 它跟有时候跟你出现的位置有关，这样子。但是有些区域是不会出现的，在你的 training data 不会出现，你不会给它连，因为连有时候就没就没完全没有机会的。因为因为这里搞不好有个小偷钻一个洞跑进来，可能教室上面钻一个洞，他有一天从上面跑进来，你你没办法判断，所以有时候给他一个很小的几率这样子。好，所以我在讲 prior probability 很重要。没有书在讲这件事情，也没有 paper 很少很少 paper 在讲这个事情。通常会讲到 prior paper 的 paper 都是非常好的 paper， 有 paper 不是没有有 paper。那我刚刚讲像以刚刚为例的，以 prior 像我们在做这种 background situation 位置、时间跟位置有关，就是假设白天有时候分哦，分假设白天的时候某些几率有个几率 waiting 值，晚上又有个几率。几率值这样子，所以我们在取那个 ATM 去 ATM 连连款的时候，他就跟你讲晚上一点多他会重新 reset。为什么要 reset？ 因为他会他会有累积误差，所以要 reset 一次，那避免那误差造成。但是我相信他没有什么他没有什么 prior probability。那我说 ATM， 我的我如果要加给他 prior probability 不是什么，是说当他发现你是戴安全帽来提款，我就把你禁止掉，这就是 prior probability。那这有什么好处？因为你你的 likelihood 好不容易收集完 likelihood， 哇，你要收集很多安全帽的 case 啊，什么样的 case？ 那你啊，什么什么帽子的 case？ 那你有时候你会把原来的资料混，就是搞混掉。那我都用原来资料就好了，我原来 training 就这样就好了。那我就设一个关卡，所以这种 constraint， 这种 constraint 我就可以把它拿来 prior probability 这边来用。就我刚刚讲的，我额外是额外是训练有戴安有戴那个那个安全帽的，他没戴安全帽的来当 prior probability， 那这样我就可以阻挡。就避免这边、这边的、这边结果，就误判的结果，用这个来阻挡。至少你是分开来做，所以上 prior 很重要，但是没有书在讲。paper 我说 paper 放假，会讲到这个会好。那这就可以用到 deep learning 也是啊 ，deep learning 是用这种方式。所以大家让你知道一下 ，prior probability 很重要。那我再举个，我再举个例子啊，那个 flip the coin。你要丢那个钱，那个钱值，那个那个钱 ，flip the coin。好，那 flip coin， what's the prior probability of coin？ 刚刚讲的是，刚刚讲的是一个 constraint 嘛，包括位置有跟位置有关，跟阻叫安全帽是阻挡这个有关。我讲的都是因为我在外面业界工作很久了，把这个跟你讲，这都是关我上课都讲观念的东西，让你知道。那再回到我们讲的 flip， 那这我说这个跟 d e d e n i n g 有什么关系？我再举例哦，你 d e d e n i n g one kind of d e d e n i n g important is customization， 特制化嘛 ，customization。那 customization for example， 所以 we have one coin， OK， we flip。So if you ignore the prior probability， because the coin， 所以 is a Suppose head and tail, we call head and tail. 就是美国的那个钱币是有个一边有人头，一边没有人头，是 called head and tail. 那一般来讲 ，your probability probability is a half. 二分之一几率嘛，你的 flip 二分之一几率，二分之一几率，二分之一是二分之一不是，那这 prior 就省略掉了。Half half 就是省略掉，因为没没有影响。错，不是这样子。So what's the probable probability for the coin? That's meaning if any coin come here and you flip, suppose you flip 
1,000 times. And you count doing the 1,000 times. How many times is the head? How many times is tail? So that's the prior, prior probability. For this coin, you know what I'm saying? So we want you to coin in that you have to flip it, just a chance, right? That it will be, it will be full and full. It will not, 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 在做，我上次那个也是那个叫什么智智慧制造的专家，上我智慧制造做很久。智慧制造在做的时候，每一台机器到后面都会有机械的机械有机械硬体机械有机械的特特质哦，每一台都有自己的特质，那个特质那机械的参数啊，这参数东西的机械系比较懂，我就我就不懂，但是。这些参数上就是 prior probability 这样子，包括它故障，所以你看你买买一批一批东西进来，你说买像我们飞飞机好了，飞机买进来我全部都新的，可是为什么有些飞机到最后会故障，比较容易故障，有些飞机不会故障，这就是我们讲智慧制造上 customization， 你买每一台机机机械根据环境根据使用状况。所以这些都是 count， 它有个寿命存在，那这些都是跟 prior probability 有关的。我是跟你跟你讲，上 prior probability 很重要，但是没有人在教，然后都忽略掉。那我举三个例子让你了解。那有去以后去工业界做的时候，做的时候有遇到的时候，就是你要你可以赢别人的地方。OK， so this is Very important for the AI. So we why why the difficulty need to keep the name because the prior probability they exist this 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 one. So that's why we need to keep the name. Or sometimes we call incremental learning. This is also difficulty has one one kind of term we call incremental learning, just 增加的那个那个学习。And then, how do you update your parameters? Doing the online learning, how do you update your parameters? This is very important. This is where? This is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning. The learning is the most difficult part. It's called reinforcement learning. Now, I don't have time to teach this class because it's too difficult. I have to do it myself because I'm doing low bar. I have to do it myself. Reinforcement learning. 那你这堂课我们把它教到哪一边？我是让你知道说你要 update 你的参数，你如果要学这个，你要学 reinforcement learning。这样子，他会教你怎么去更新这些 data 的东西。Okay, so but I use it now. So the reason I teach you background saturation because they can keep learning. They will update. Update their parameters. So, um, background saturation is important. This example I just give you. Okay, okay. I'm going to continue. So, I always why I teach this is because it has this concept. At the moment, it will still be used. Some people, not many, some reinforcement learning concepts are from this concept. Okay, let's continue to talk about it. Okay, so we have low data, low data here, right? Our model is here. Detection, tracking, recognition, our model is here. So our parameters are here. A, A is equal to B, so it's ground truth. So this our model is here. So this, we use my model in here, network. And before we do feature extraction, right? And before we call, this call from original data domain, we this can input to here. Low data can input to here become detection tracking recognition. So suppose there's a neural network. So we have model here. But your raw data come here. Okay, raw data is your weighted data. Raw, that gray value, weighted data. So so in this area. 
But is that a good data? Most of the time, it's not a good data. So that's why before we input the raw data, we, we want to do the feature extraction. And feature extraction include space transformation or we call domain knowledge. But in the raw data, the easy way is the edge detection, the extraction. So if you, you extract the high frequency component, that's edge detection. But if you want to separate the high frequency component, low frequency component, that's WebEx. WebEx will separate high frequency component, that's the edge detection. And also the low frequency component, that's the Gaussian, Gaussian information. That's WebEx. But that's the only feature extraction. Can we transfer this domain to the other domain? That's called space transform. There's two kind of domain knowledge. One is the dimensionality reduction. This means project from high dimension, project to low dimension. So edge detection or Gaussian smooth is only extracted information. But that did not really transfer to, I mean, suppose high dimension or low dimension. So low dimension, if you project to low dimension, we call it dimensionality reduction. There's a PCA or icon is a one method. You have to do a conjunction, but you have to do a So PCA is a very important thing. So dimensionality reduction, conjunction. The other way is that you we project to high dimension. PCA is project to the low dimension. SVM supported vector machines project to the high dimension. This is not the same. This is the same. So, you have to do the same thing. 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 You have to do the 没有哪一个比较好，两个都很好，这样子。但是PCA是往低的dimension，SVM是往高dimension，所以我们call kernel SVM。From if you project to a dimensionality reduction, low dimension, you can see the result. 这是这结果是看得到的。You project to the high dimension, you cannot see the result. You just imagine, use your brain to imagine. 这只能想象。so each of this is a computer vision use or machine sorry machine use for both method. And right now DNN um, what we take deep learning, they use convolutional actually pro I forget plus activation function. Yeah, I just assign the activation function. So activation function is try to project to higher dimension. So extraction and plus activation function. Activation is project to a little bit, a little bit higher. This is very high. This each time it appear, project to a little bit higher dimension. So right now it's the same. Okay, so this is a domain knowledge. And then we do modeling and modeling problem. Include parameter, parameter and non-parameter model. And PCA, I will teach you on next lecture. This will come in the next lecture. So that you know, from the raw data, we want to get to a that infinite space. At least, this is higher, higher a little bit. But the sample is also double-double. I don't. I'm so mad. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to do it.
pe coasta ceșință. Ok. So for pe coasta ceșință. Ok, this is a MIT student. So if we have a one, this one image, right, in time. So be before, suppose there are nobody here. And until what sometimes people appear here. So this one. So if current image, if subtract, this is current image. If subtract with the one of previous image, and you got a result that's called foreground rejection. Suppose if you only one image, right? And you subtract with the previous someone image. So suppose there are people here and no people here. And you do pixel by pixel subtraction and you've got a big, sorry, you've got a, a result. So if each pixel, the result is better than threshold, the larger than threshold, you call this foreground pixel. If it's smaller than the threshold, you call it background pixel. That's a basic background subtraction. A foreground extraction. So that's a, a simple way, the basic idea. Okay, so just pixel by pixel subtraction. But this is not a good, good method. Why? Because the lighting always change and the sunshine change, anything change. So this result doesn't look good. So it's very because pixel by pixel are very sensitive. So this is not good method. And so the results, the result is like this one. So this is not good method. This is page 11, page 11. This original, nobody here, some image, and this is somebody appear here and do subtraction. Just pixel by pixel subtraction and get a result. But actually there is a, exists a lot of noise here. Suppose if the, the tree, the leaves move, there are noise here. So this is not good method. So if, I mean, the tree here, so that if you do any subtraction, you will extract the tree become the foreground piece. Even if you move it by dog, so it's much easier to the tree to be So you don't have to find noise. It's also don't mean that if nobody here, you said two images do subtraction you'll find there are many noise here because the quiet light, because the, the our the, the quiet quiet noise is the issue. So it will be the good one. It's the good one. Now let's look at it. This is very important. I'm going to tell you this is very important. So suppose that we just saw this person in this room. Suppose one pixel here, one pixel here. And we see the gray value change in the pixel. So suppose we take 900 frames. So if one frame is 30, one frame is 30 frames, one second is 30 frames per second. So 900 frames, actually we take 30 seconds. Now we choose 30 seconds. 30 seconds, just like that. In this pixel, we will see this gray value. So you will see the gray value change. From 50 to 150, so gray value change frequently. So it's dynamic, not stable. How do you model it? How do you model this signal? It's what you model the signal. If it's dynamic, it's not stable, it's not easy to model it. So what we can do. If we change it to the other space, so if this is gray value, so zero to two fifty five, and this count the number of the pixels. Based on this one, we collect nine hundred frames, only one pixel. We will see so total nine hundred pixels, and gray value change here. Gray value change between fifty to one hundred fifty. This is not stable, it's not good for modeling. So if we move to here, 
fifty. So let's square value. 是我把把刚刚那个转到另外一个空间，然后这个空间是位阶值，然后是 count count 那个那个个数。哎 ，you become this distribution. It is to look like a Gaussian distribution. Oh, that's good. 我们是像高勋的嘛，至少看起来像高勋，而且 is more stable. During the short time, is more stable. So if we do modeling, we should try to find. From the raw data, we should transfer to more stable, stable domain. So this is more stable. So this is good for modeling. So this paper also think about if we each time if we separate, but this this is more stable. But if we this is total nine hundred nine hundred frame here, but if we we separate only sorry divided by nine, so one hundred frame become. This distribution, so from zero to one hundred, one hundred, one hundred to two hundred. This, this is 那个每一百一百张我们来看它 distribution. 因为这个看起来不像个 This look like a Gaussian, but it's not Gaussian. So if we separate one hundred one hundred frame to be one distribution, 就九个这看起来是不是 Gaussian? 所以这个不好。那我在教你是说。要先做研究之前不急着做，而去分析，去去 analyze their physical meaning， 这就 physical meaning。你要去分析它，你的你拿到 data 是什么样的性质，要去分析它，然后再做 modeling， 要选用什么 model 来 model 它。所以这个不好，用这个方，那还是回到这里来，至少它 stable。Now, so how can we model this one? So if, if we use one Gaussian, but this doesn't do that in Gaussian. So that's why we will use the Gaussian mixture model or mixture of Gaussian model. That's meaning we use multiple Gaussian to model any distribution. And finally, we find out the Gaussian distribution is not the best model. However, almost any distribution can be modeled by a mixture of Gaussian, a Gaussian mixture model. That's many, many Gaussian model. That's wavelets. Wavelets, wavelets. Why wavelets so good? On your m ah h h point two sixty four h the earliest or m peg, all those one. Ah, ah, modeling by by wavelets. These, these, you, 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 these, 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 现在都不教你的 wavelet， 那 wavelet 是一个 wavelet wave， 什么叫 let 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 就是 let 是多的意思，多的小小小的多，就是小小而多叫 let， 所以 wavelet 就是小波，小波的意思 ，wave wave 是波了，啊 let 是多群很多的东西，但是小小的，所以 wavelet 是翻译成小波，你你之后会看很多 let let 的那东西。那高勋 model 不是最好的 model， 那 mixture 高勋 model 是比较好的 model， 那更好的 model 事实上是 wavelet， 因为 wavelet 是包括 sin 跟 cosine， 这是 Fourier 的 series。那 Fourier series 为什么那么重要？去掉除以，因为 Fourier series 可以表示任何的任何的 distribution 都可以用 Fourier Fourier 转换来来 Fourier 来表示。那傅立叶本身就是一个未被吃的东西。那我们这里是讲高，讲那个高勋 distribution。好，那我我这里要跟你教你怎么去用用这个。I will teach you how to use this one to model this one。这我要教你的。Okay, so we take a break. We will continue the next later.